Yes. This is not just a concept or a rendering. We're starting to ramp up manufacturing of these cells. The Gen 2 Tesla 4680 battery cell is here. The 4680 batteries enhance range by 16% and offer five times more energy and six times the power. The form factor enhancements alone lead to a 14% decrease in cost per kilowatt at the battery pack level. Tesla announced a new tabless 4680 cell form factor when it unveiled its battery cells at the Battery Day event in 2020. This form factor would increase energy density, maintain similar thermal characteristics of smaller cells, improve the power-to-weight ratio, streamline manufacturing, and reduce cost. Tesla did not reveal the updated Model Y specifications at the Giga Texas opening event, and all of the cars at the time were given to Tesla employees. The Battery Day presentation claimed that the 4680 cells and the structural battery pack architecture will extend the vehicle range by up to 54%, reduce vehicle weight, boost acceleration, and be less expensive and more environmentally friendly to make. Musk stated in late 2020 that Tesla intended to produce its own batteries to reduce the price of the most expensive component of an EV by half. Tesla's 4680 lithium-ion batteries, which have an 80mm length and a 46mm diameter, have a capacity that is nearly five times greater than that of its existing smaller 2170 cells. For the same energy and driving range, Tesla may utilize fewer new cells, which lowers costs. Updates on the 4680 battery improvements have been somewhat kept under wraps since the Battery Day business event. Instead, the 2170 cells that were made at the Fremont factory and the Gigafactory Berlin and used in the Model Y have taken the lead. Tesla's non-structural battery packs, which start at $67,990 for the Model Y package and have a 318 EPA range and a 4.8 0 to 60 mile per hour time, use last generation 2170 cells. In January, Panasonic revealed its plan to spend $700 million to upgrade and expand its battery factory in Japan's Wakayama Prefecture to produce the latest Tesla 4680 battery cells. When everything is finished, the factory will be able to produce roughly 10 gigawatt hours of new batteries every year, which is sufficient to power about 150,000 electric cars. That represents about 20% of the business's overall capacity for producing batteries at its facilities in the US, Japan, and other nations. Tesla workers commemorated the milestone of 1,04680 cylindrical lithium-ion battery cells at the start of this year. The cells are a component of the structural battery packs that will be used in the company's line of all electric vehicles, starting with the Model Y cars made in Giga, Texas. According to information provided by South Korea's The Elect, Samsung SDI is setting up a pilot line at its Cheonan South Korea facility to test the 4680 cylinder batteries it will provide to Tesla. The factory will produce at least two battery iterations, one of which is said to be less than 80 millimeters in length. At the battery plant owned by Samsung SDI in Seremban, Malaysia, the true mass production line will probably be constructed. During a recent trip to Europe, Lee Jae-yong, vice chairman of Samsung Electronics, verified that 4680 battery cells are produced. The pilot line being prepared in Cheonan has a production speed of 20 ppm and an annual capacity of just around 1 gigawatt per hour. The objective is to raise production speed to 200 to 300 ppm, which equates to 8 to 12 gigawatts per hour of yearly output capacity. There, Samsung SDI increased the output of 2170 cylinder batteries last year. In 2012, the factory started producing cylinder batteries. A Texas-made Tesla Model Y with 4680 battery cells, according to a Tesla Model Y owner, was able to finish a charging session from 0% to 97% in 52 minutes. According to Ryan Levinson of the Kilowatts, who holds the opinion that electric cars aren't the future, they are here and now, he designed an experiment in which he drove the Model Y until its battery indicated that it had no more miles to go. Levinson came to zero miles and showed no limiters. Levinson next connected to a supercharger B3 station. 
The businessman observed that, in contrast to earlier Tesla data that showed a more progressive ascent to 250 kilowatts, the charging curve of the Texas-made Model Y rapidly leaped to 250 kilowatts when it was put in. The dual-motor Model Y's specifications of 279 miles of range per charge on a full battery were met by the Model Y in less than an hour, adding 270 miles to its range. Levinson pondered the as-yet undiscovered potential of the 4680 battery cells in an email to Teslarati. Levinson's experiment, though not a peer-reviewed study, implies that Tesla's 4680-equipped electric cars have some capabilities and advantages that Tesla has not fully disclosed. The assertion backs up a claim made by Munro and Associates, who bought a Model Y in Texas for analysis. Tesla had reportedly started selling a second version of the updated Model Y with 4680 cells and a structural battery pack. The new Model Y Long Range, built in Giga Texas, starts at 9,500 less expensive than the Long Range Model Y built at Tesla's Fremont, California facility. The Tesla team examined each viewpoint, including cell design, production, vehicle integration, and materials, rather than just one. The goals of Battery Day are to reduce the cost per kilowatt hour in half, which has the potential to make Tesla vehicles more cost-effective while increasing their range. This year, major Chinese battery manufacturers like CATL, EVE, and BAK Battery want to begin mass-producing the cylindrical battery model 4680. Future battery technologies are eagerly awaiting the addition of multi-sensory and self-healing features as well as physics-aware machine learning algorithms that can forecast the spatio-temporal evolution of battery materials and interfaces. If this R&D is successful, it will be possible to recognize, anticipate, and stop potential degradation and failure modes. Improved battery quality, dependability, and life will be the end outcome.